Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at Horizon, an American Saga, Chapter 1. Three hours and it's only the first chapter, starring an ensemble cast led by Kevin Costner who also directed the film. The story, such as it is, begins in 1859 and... You know, I usually start these off with a quick plot summary, but that is really difficult to do with this movie because it just has too much plot. There are multiple different stories going on all at once and they are vaguely connected, if at all. Maybe the connections will become more clear in later chapters, but right now I am lost. There's one story involving people who settled in the titular frontier town of Horizon in the San Pedro Valley, but they aren't there very long because the town is overrun by Apache natives who don't take kindly to white settlers taking their land. Oddly enough, not the first time this has happened to the town of Horizon, but they keep on trying it because white people are so dumb. And there's some disagreement among the white settlers and the Apaches over how best to handle the situation. There are some who think we should just leave the Apaches the hell alone, and there are others who are all in on Manifest Destiny. On the Apache side, there are some who think war is inevitable, and there are others who would at least like to try to coexist. And then there's a second story that takes place in Wyoming involving a woman named Lucy. She was apparently forced into some sexual relationship with this other dude against her will, and finally she has enough and shoots the bastard and runs off with her young son. She goes into hiding and marries some guy, and they are sharing their home with a local prostitute for reasons. And Kevin Costner's character shows up around this point, and he somehow gets caught up in all this mess really for no reason at all. And then there's yet another story involving a wagon train moving along the Santa Fe Trail, also heading to Horizon. Because again, white people are so dumb. Among those dumb white people are a British couple who seem a bit clueless as to exactly what they've gotten themselves into. They seem to be treating this whole thing like it's a vacation, and everyone else in the wagon train is understandably a little bit pissed by that. And... Not much else happens with the wagon train, actually. I'm... Almost wondering why they were even in the movie. In fact, I'm not sure why most of the people in this movie are even here. This whole thing is very crowded and seems to lack focus and any kind of coherent vision. And I haven't even covered everything. That's just the main stories. There are subplots aplenty as well, but we just do not have the time. And despite this movie's three hour runtime, it never really feels like we have enough time to get attached to any of these characters. The one exception is perhaps the character that's played by Costner. His story seemed to be the only one that was particularly interesting. The one featuring the director, go figure. And it really seems to me like Costner should have just picked one of these stories and focused on that instead of trying to do everything all at once. Or he should have tried to sell this to HBO as a series if he really wanted to do this kind of long-term storytelling. Now, to be fair, I have only seen Chapter 1. I believe Chapter 2 is coming out next month. Chapter 3 is currently in production. And there is a fourth chapter that has at least been planned. We will see how that goes. So maybe all of this will feel much better when it's all said and done. But I kind of have my doubts. If future installments are anything like Chapter 1, this is going to be a very long, drawn-out saga that has very little to say except life in the Old West was shit. Hey everybody, so a uh, quick update here. Shortly after I recorded this vlog, uh, like the very next day in fact, breaking news, it turns out Horizon Chapter 2 has been pulled from the release schedule, so it is not in fact coming out next month. It may not be coming out at all. Now I know what you're thinking, the movie is basically done, surely they wouldn't just shelve it forever. Well, here's the thing, this is a New Line Cinema film, and New Line Cinema falls under the banner of Warner Brothers Discovery. And it would not be the first time they took a completed film and just cancelled it entirely. It would not even be the second time that happened, because David Zasloff is a fucking ghoul who hates life itself. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen with the rest of Horizon and American Saga. Maybe Chapter 2 will just be thrown into the January dumping ground, maybe they'll release it direct to HBO Max, maybe they'll recut it into a TV series like they probably should have done in the first place, maybe it'll never see the light of day. Who knows? 
Just wanted to throw this in there so you know why I said Chapter 2 is coming out in August when that is in fact no longer happening. We now return you to your regularly scheduled vlog, already in progress. And because we never really spend a lot of time with these characters, it's really hard for me to comment on the acting. No one has a chance to stand out, for good or bad. I can't point to any one of these performances and say, wow, that sucked. Like, everyone was perfectly fine. Even Costner is giving one of his better performances, which really isn't all that surprising. This is a passion project for him. Of course he's going to put in the effort. And even though I found the story with Costner's character to be one of the more interesting stories in the movie, it also had a sadly predictable moment where he starts traveling with the aforementioned prostitute, and I'm looking at these two and thinking, okay, she is about half his age, and despite that they are almost certainly going to be banging before this movie is over. And I was right. You just couldn't resist, could you, Kevin? I will say this much, the movie is shot well. All of these Old West settings look absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's a very pretty movie to look at, so that's something, I guess. In the end, I suppose I can't be too mad at this because I'm the one who willingly paid money to see a Kevin Costner vanity project, and that is nobody's fault but my own. I knew the risks, but it is a chore to sit through, and despite having three whole hours, it doesn't feel like it accomplished much of anything. I would not recommend paying money to see this in the theater unless you just absolutely need to sit in an air-conditioned room for three hours, which, given what the weather has been like lately, is totally understandable. But if you're not in need of air conditioning, I say skip this one and let's hope Chapter 2 is better. And that's all I have to say about Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1. Till next time, take care.